Near illegible text scrawled in boy notebook. Author unnamed, undated. The spiral stairs were draped with boyd bones. Feathers flooded and fell with the stink of egg rod and oil. My pig heart felt cradled by mantises, my face on their faces as they feasted and became holy in the hog blood. At the top, I found a scrapper's roost and two of them stooped there. They wore their target's beak over their faces. Morrigan and Midian, two tall lovebirds side by side, strapped with trash, totems, offerings. In their hands, one wingless crow, tired and bleeding. I held out a squirming piglet, kissed its freshly sewn shut eyes. I squeezed tight and it squealed, hailing my lord of meat and flame. I leaned over its snout and bit its tongue and ripped it out, teeth smooth. The scrappers held out their fat crow, and I fed the bird the squealer's tongue, and our bond was forged forever. Stagnant, the left one said. We're stuck, the right one said, petting the bird. Who blocks the sculptor's wishes? I asked them. There's a wounded bird out there, said one, the old leader of the hunt. He gobbles our prayers, spoke the other, all of them. Finch, I said, and the scrappers screeched and shivered their feathers loose. Finch, they agreed. False Boyd, false leader. He blocks us from the pathways our scrap beak uses. I nodded. He used to lead us all fair and true. I admired him. Now he clips our wings. He hobbles our ankles and pigs, they replied. Wah, wah, spittle, mwah, mwah, went my little piglet. Crew, crew, cacaw, cacaw, went the crow. We placed our pets in a rift nest and watched the embers swirl. We shushed them to sleep. We sealed them away. We knew when Finch bled his last that they would carry our wishes to our Lord on his chittering throne, and the pathways would be cleared. <laughs>